suffering for being a Christian. Don't be surprised by the terrible things happening to you. The trouble you are having has come to test you. So don't feel as if something strange were happening to you. Instead, be joyful that you are taking part in Christ's suffering. Then you will have even more joy when Jesus returns in glory. Suppose people say bad things about you because you believe in Christ. Then you are blessed because God's spirit rests on you. He is the spirit of glory. If you suffer, it shouldn't be because you are a murderer. It shouldn't be because you are a thief or someone who does evil things. It shouldn't be because you interfere with other people's business. But suppose you suffer for being a Christian. Then don't be ashamed. Instead, praise God, because you are known by the name of Christ. It is time for judgment to begin with the household of God. And since it begins with us, what will happen to people who don't obey God's good news? Scripture says, suppose it is hard for godly people to be saved. Then what will happen to ungodly people and sinners? Here's what people who suffer because of God's plan should do. They should commit themselves to their faithful creator and they should continue to do good. They should always pray and never give up. They should always love the Lord their God with all their heart and with all their soul. Love him with all their minds and love your neighbor as you love yourself. In everything, give thanks to God. Do not allow the devil to steal your joy. Never stop reading the word of God. Day and night, you must think about what it says. And whatever the word says about you, you must say about yourself. And believe you can do what it says you can do. Jesus said, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. But whoever does not believe will be condemned. These special, powerful works will be done by those who have put their trust in me. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will pick up snakes. If they drink any poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will be healed. The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He will not allow temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. Jesus said, we must always pray and never give up. I'm Pastor Larry Cobb of the Redeeming Life Ministries. You have a blessed day.